Yeah, I did. Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah, I did an apprenticeship with a local contractor in my hometown um, where I did my city and guilds, um, level one and level two, uh, which gave me my electrical qualifications to move on uh, as an electrician, um, doing it all types of applications such as industrial, agricultural uh, and domestic installations. Yeah. Extremely important. Uh, especially for the young generation coming through now. Um, the trades really sort of suffered quite heavily uh, in the past sort of 10 years of people coming through uh, with skills. Um, so with the trades, certainly need people like electricians especially uh, to bring that new talent through uh, to help progress the industry further on, yeah. One or two, um, just to say the least, yeah. I think everybody makes a mistake and there's nothing wrong with that. I think one I can uh, certainly bring to mind was my first job, first day on the job in fact, uh, was at a large stately home uh, based just outside Canuck that was up for refurb for the next sort of couple of years. Uh, I was tasked to take a cable through the loft space. I think you can probably see what's coming now, but uh, I was doing very well until I sort of had a bit of a brain fog moment and put my th foot clear through the, uh, the plasterboard right up to my growing area and with a rousing set of applause from all the other people that are in the trades there. So plasterers, you've probably only just done the ceiling. Uh, obviously electricians, plumbers, carpenters, the lot. Um, came downstairs, looked in the room, massive hole. Yeah, something I've learned not to do ever since. Um, yeah, funny answer to that, I suppose, is one, if somebody says to hold this or these, don't do it, because nine times out of 10, it's a little test and a trick they play on you. I'll let you work that one out for yourself. Other than that, I'd say to, to myself, uh, perhaps study harder, uh, work really hard, take any advice you can give from your mentors, uh, which help you sort of progress through your career, which you can bring to practice when you get fully qualified. Yeah, work hard, study hard, uh, get the best qualifications that you can do, uh, which will prepare you for your future in whatever trade you decide to be in. Um, I also would say learn anything you can from your mentors or anybody else within the trade and, you know, when you're sort of working and take that with you to move on to your career.